As we travel, it's not always easy to know where to stay. Our 22 MLE Facebook member Julie recommended Beachside RV Park to us and we were not disappointed. Beachside is located right on the Pacific Ocean. Many sites have direct ocean views and even the ones that are not directly on the shore are only steps away from the beach. About a three hour drive south from Portland, Oregon and located right on the coast, Beachside is a lovely vacation getaway location. The campground is along miles of broad sandy beach. Whether you like swimming, fishing, whale watching or sunbathing, this is a perfect spot to do it. There are 32 electrical sites with water hookup on paved pads, 42 tent sites with nearby water station and sink water disposal areas, and they even have a couple of yurts. A yurt is a tent-like structure on a platform equipped with beds, a table, and an outdoor grill. One of the yurts is also pet friendly. Both the yurts as well as two of the campsites are also accessible to campers with disabilities. The campground has washroom buildings with flush toilets and hot showers and there are foot wash stations to rinse off the sand after a day at the beach. They have a hiker biker camp for those adventurous souls who are traveling the coast by foot or bicycle. Camping is available between mid-March and the end of October and can be reserved up to six months in advance. There is firewood available for purchase too. There's garbage and recycling but there is not a dump station. There is a map showing you where you can access the nearest sandy dump station. If you utilize the washroom facilities and sink water disposal areas, you could easily avoid filling your black and gray tanks. As you pull in, the campground is to the left and there is a day use area to the right with parking for beach day trippers. As for cell signal, we were on the Verizon network and couldn't get a cell signal at our campsite but if we walked over to the bathroom building, just a short walk away, we got a great signal. It was interesting to see all the tsunami evacuation route signs along all of the Pacific coastline, not something we see in other parts of the country. Let's just hope we never have to use that information. Thanks again, Julie, for this great recommendation. We would definitely stay here again. The only downfall we see to this campground is the lack of a dump station on site and the poor cell signal at our campsite. But both of these things are easy workarounds. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.